simply because you just didn't know. Yeah. So you're sitting here getting the opportunity to get an education from some people that have first-time knowledge, first-hand experience. Tonight, praise the Lord, amen, your faith has invited us to come, and I want to be a blessing tonight. Is that all right? Yeah. I want to be a blessing tonight, and tonight I want, amen, as many that can to find and put your hands on a $20 seed, praise the Lord. And once you get your $20, I want you to stand quickly. Amen. I'm going to ask all of my leaders that came with me to find $20. Praise the Lord. I want to be a blessing. And since I'm the pastor, I'm going to do $30, praise the Lord. But I want everybody that can and will find a $20 seed, praise the Lord. If you don't have 20, amen, but you know you got 10, I want you to stand with 10, praise the Lord. Come on quickly, find it, praise the Lord, in Jesus' name. One thing about it, you'll never lose by giving in God's house. Come on, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. And finally, praise the Lord, we've got our 20, we've got our 10. Praise the Lord. And for some of you young people in college, I want you to find $5, praise the Lord, and stand with it. I want everybody to stand with something in your hand. Is that all right? Yes. Praise the Lord. Glory, we want to be a blessing tonight. We don't want to 
Amen. Leave the house in a deficit. We want to leave it in a blessing. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Once you got your offering in your hand, if you will just lift it up. You know, I'm not going to fall out and, and scream and call your address. If you don't know your address, you got a bigger problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But if you believe in this ministry and you believe in myself, then you know that I would never ask you to do anything that you're going to lose out on. God's going to bless you. Somebody's going to see some of it, amen, by Tuesday morning. Yes. Oh, praise God. I was going to say Monday, but the Holy Spirit says President's Day tomorrow. So you ain't going to see it tomorrow. <laughs> but look for it on Tuesday. Yes. Praise God. Lord, I praise you. Yes, Lord. Somebody been waiting on something, a windfall to come through the yes, mail. Yes, yes, Lord. I said Tuesday, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said he blessed a cheerful gift. Is that all right? So I need to see some joy in the house. Is that right? Praise God with a cheerful gift. Lift that seed into your right hand. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your understanding of all things. You have set in motion that you would give bread to the eater and seed to the sower. And you told us that if we would cast our bread upon the waters, it would return to us in not many days. Now, God, we are sowing into this worthy ministry, folk that love you, folk that are serving and trying to expand the kingdom of God. We ask tonight that you would bless this offering tonight. Not a debt that we owe, but a seed that we sow. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. I shall not beg. Hallelujah. I am the lender and not the borrower. Yes. This we declare, this we decree yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I want you to follow the directions of our ushers. They're going to lead us out, praise the Lord. But I want you to bring that seed and get happy about it. Because you, you haven't lost anything. You're about to gain something. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to have our pulpit constituency come first. Amen. Praise God. Alright, that looks good here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right now.
Pastor Marcus Scott Sr. from the White Church. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. You guys can just stand and put your hands together and pour some of them and tell them to preach the word because we know that he's going to preach on today. Amen. Amen. Just a little history about him. He's, um, I'm just saying a little bit stuff about him. Yeah. Um, we've been married for 20 years. We have Amen. 11 children together. Amen. Um, he's been um, preaching since he was. 14 years old, he's been saved since he was 10, preaching at 14 years old, received the Holy Ghost. Um, he's been pastoring for 19 years. Um, we, he pastored in Nightdale first, and then we just moved over to Wendell Boulevard two years ago. So we've been here for, in Wendell for two years, amen. So he's a pastor of the Way Church, amen, located in Wendell, North Carolina. And we're just glad to be here. Amen. We're glad to be here. Um, we met you guys like a year or two ago. Yeah. Um, I think it was at Bernie's, Bernie. and I was just um, looking at you and just seeing how much excitement you had. And, mm -hmm. I mean, you just talked to us like you knew us, you know. <laughs> and I just thank God for y'all on today. Just glad to be here. So we just ask everyone to just stand and, and just tell the man of God to preach. Preach! In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the glory. Hallelujah. If you're lifting up your mouth and just feel an atmosphere of praise, come on. Come on, I need to hear you in the house on tonight. Hallelujah. 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 He dwells in the midst of the praises of his people. If you'll just open your mouth, I know you're tired. I know you're thinking about going home. But take a moment and open your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 There's no God like our God. To the rising of the sun. To the going down of the sun. Your name is word. Yes. Yes. Well, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Amen. We honor the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord this afternoon, this evening. Thank you. Thank you. For this opportunity, amen, to be found in the house of prayer one more time. Amen. It did not have to be this way. There are those, praise the Lord, that desire to be in the house of prayer. Uh, but for some reason, they're not here. Amen. Some, praise the Lord, are in convalescent centers. Some are in the hospitals. Yes. Some are behind uh, prison walls. Mm -hmm. uh, there are those, praise the Lord, in the hospital struggling to breathe mm -hmm. their next breath. Mm -hmm. Wishing they had the opportunity mm -hmm. that you had. Yes. Yes. That quiet. Yes. You see, you don't miss the opportunity to give God the praise until that opportunity has been taken away from you. Oh, Y'all done got quiet now. Because so some of us, we ate chicken before we came here tonight. And, and, and so that itis, which is historical as well, as part of black history. That itis, praise the Lord, is working on us. Well, but there's somebody in the world right now that is waiting and wishing they had your opportunity to give God name the praise. And so before I go any further, I wish I had somebody that would stand on your feet and give God the best praise that you have. Fighting something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I said, Well, that must mean 
that what I need to deliver tonight must be important. Yeah. Amen. Because Satan don't start trying to attack you until you're carrying something yes. uh, that is important. Yes. Come, on, come on, somebody. Right. Now, 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 yes. I, I didn't come, praise the Lord, to excite you, praise the Lord, and I didn't even come tonight to preach you happy, as some folks say. Yes. Praise the Lord. In fact, if you don't get excited hey, with right. this message tonight, I'm still going to do yeah. my job. Yeah. And my job is just to deliver yeah. what he has said. Yeah. And I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to go back tonight there. Yeah. And I'm going to sleep tonight. Is that all right? Yeah. While you're standing, can we honor the Lord for this Pastor Walker? Yeah. Come on, we can do We can try better than that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. While we're honoring you tonight, praise the Lord, we want to honor your staff and co-workers and your evangelists and your teachers, praise the Lord. We thank God for your secondary leadership. And I want to take the opportunity to honor my assistant pastor. To our ministers, praise the Lord. Keep them very good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to the white church. Is y'all in the house tonight? Y'all yeah. better say the Lord or something. Let me know you're here, praise God. Hey! Woo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly, last but not least, I want to thank God for my girlfriend. Yes. My boo thing. Yes. My baby mama without all the drama. Yeah. My beautiful wife of 20 years, Lady Letitia Scott. We honor her. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I want to get right into the word of the Lord. And, uh, I'm going to finish. And whatever y'all want to do after that, that's fine for the Lord. Once again, we're thanking the Lord for uh, taking us down memory lane remembering what we had to go through to get to where we are now. Because sometimes we have a tendency to forget that the roads that we're walking in now, amen, were just pathways that someone had to beat down, cut the brush, consistently walk through it, and now we drive over where they had to walk through the snake laying in the road. Lord, I pray. Anything that you have today, you are standing on the shoulders of those that have went before you. Amen. So don't you ever get so big and so new that you don't, amen, remember that you're not standing alone. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. You're standing, praise the Lord, on the shoulders of many great men and women of God. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I want you to quickly, since you're standing, and then you can sit down for the rest of the service if you want. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles tonight, I want to go in mind to Isaiah chapter 40. Praise the Lord. And I want to read there verses 1 through 5. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. I thank God for our musician. Amen. Amen. God bless you, I'm going to try to get him out of here. He, he hadn't been in seat since he got off of work this morning. He'd been in church all day long. And so when the sister was up here giving the uh, history lesson, praise God, he was fighting it. Yes, Praying, Lord, don't let him slip over and go to sleep. So, so I promise you, he, he wasn't being disrespectful or disobedient. He, he got a reason. Amen. And I appreciate him for hanging with me this long. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, I appreciate it. Quickly to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. Amen. Again, we thank you, Pastor Walker, for this opportunity. I don't take it very lightly. Amen. Word of the Lord declares, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
and every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the cricket shall be made straight, and rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I've got just one phrase. And as I sought the Lord for what to say in this service tonight, he knew who would be here. And he knew what you needed to hear. And so if this word is just for one person in the house tonight, I'm saying what God told me to say. Yes, yes. And I get my subject, praise the Lord, from verse 2 and about the latter clause when it says, cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Yes. Tonight, my subject is, your warfare is accomplished. Yes. Yes. And the fight yes. is over. All right. yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Your warfare yes. is accomplished. Jesus. And your fight is over. I think I'm going to say that one more time. Your warfare has been accomplished and your fight is over. Father, may we do no damage to your word, but speak that which is sound, which is right, which is true. Have your way in this place. Do what you need to do as long as you want to do it. And we'll submit to your will and we'll say thank you. For it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. And let all God's people say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This afternoon, and this evening actually, man, I have the distinct assignment of speaking the word of the Lord to this house. In fact, I've come to speak to somebody that has been in heavy warfare. Amen. In fact, the Lord spoke to me and said, praise the Lord, that you've been in warfare specifically from the last six to eight months. Hallelujah. The attacks that have come on your body, the attacks that have hit your finances, and I'm not talking about bad money management, but I'm talking about being fought, amen, to even get to the next level financially. In your mind, glory to God. In your family, and even in your emotion, I've come to announce to you tonight that your warfare has been accomplished and your fight is over. Now, this passage in Isaiah, praise the Lord, is what we consider what we call a messianic passage. Uh, it points to the coming of the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. But in particular, is dealing with, praise the Lord, uh, the forerunner of Christ, whose name uh, would be called John. Yes. Called him John the Baptist, yes. John yes. the Baptizer, yes. praise the Lord. And, and praise the Lord, oftentimes, amen, the Lord will bring a message to you that is contrary to your current situation. Yes. I wish I could get a witness on that already. Amen. Many times, God will bring to you, amen, a word that does not look like what you are in, praise the Lord. In fact, he will tell you, praise the Lord, that you are coming out, praise the Lord. When you find yourself in a bound situation, I can't get no help up here. Amen. Many times, praise the Lord, he will speak to you and tell you, praise the Lord, that the business is going to take off. Uh -huh. Amen. When you have just experienced, praise the Lord, a repossession of the things that you own. Right. Okay. 
get no help up in here. Praise the Lord. Many times, praise the Lord, he will talk about, amen, how God is going to put your marriage and relationship back together again when your spouse has walked out on you and have left you by yourself. Many times, God will speak a word that is contrary to your present situation. Why does God speak words that are contrary to my present situation? Why does he talk about something, amen, in a sense that I am not, praise the Lord, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you already know where you are, but you really don't know where you're going. Right. Can I say that one more time? Yeah, yeah. You already know where you are. You know the situation that you're in. You know the struggle that you're going through. Right. But you really don't know exactly where God is going to take you to. Right. And so when God starts speaking, God is not speaking to your situation, but God is speaking to the future of what he has promised to do in your life. Can I get a witness? Right. Praise, right. The Lord. Right. Ah, praise the Lord. I want to tell you tonight that many of us, uh, many of you tonight that are in here are experiencing strong warfare. Yes. In fact, the truth of the matter is, some of you are in the fight of your life. Yes. Oh my God. I, in other words, when you come to church, you're not coming to church just to be seen. You're not just coming to church because it looks good. Praise God. You're really coming to church because you really need to hear something that's going to push you into the next level of God. You need to hear something that's going to help you get a grip. Praise the Lord. Probably because the enemy has hit you, amen, in so many different areas that you don't even know how in the world you're going to stand. And so you are experiencing strong warfare. Yes. And praise the Lord, this uh, 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 battle have left you weary and depleted of strength. Jesus. Pastor, we might as well tell the truth. We That's are right. not strong all the time. Yes. Yes. Amen. We don't feel like running a mile every day. There are some things that will hit your life that will deplete your strength, praise God. There are some things that you go through in life that will leave you sitting there weary of life and you feel like you feel like giving up even if you don't give up. You feel like throwing in the towel even if you don't throw in the towel. I can't get no help up in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I want you to understand tonight. That the fight that you are experiencing is not because of your sin. It is not because you have done something wrong. It's not because God is punishing you. It's not because, praise the Lord, you are living, hallelujah, uh, in a sinful state. But I want you to know tonight that the fight that you are experiencing has everything to do with what you are carrying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, if I can just speak to somebody prophetically tonight, you are carrying something bigger than what you ever know. And, and, and see, sometimes the enemy, praise our God, uh, uh, is more acquainted with who you are in the spirit than sometimes you know who you are yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and this is not something you're going to find in a textbook. And this is not something they're going to tell you in the university. This is something that you're going to have to understand in the spirit that you are carrying something that is of great value. Yeah. And any time you are carrying something great, you need to expect a fight from the enemy. Yeah. Anytime you are carrying something that is powerful, you must know that the devil is going to do his best to try to shut down what God has in you. If you don't believe it, read the 12th chapter of the book of Revelation, when the Bible says that there was a woman, praise the Lord, standing there, and she, praise the Lord, was pregnant with child. This yeah. child, amen, was yeah. to rule the nations with a rod of iron. And then there was another wonder in heaven, and there was a dragon. Y'all know yes. who the dragon yes. was? Yes. The dragon it was the devil, praise yeah, yeah. God. And the devel was standing there, amen, to devour the child just as soon as the child was born. I want you to know that Satan is expecting just like you are. You expecting? He expecting. Amen. Sometimes, if you really want to know how powerful you are, look at the enemy. If you really want to know whether or not you have purpose in your life, look at the enemy. Amen. Listen, listen at what they're saying about you. Y'all quiet. Yes. Because most of the time, 
we, we, we tell the folk, don't worry about what folks say about you. And, 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 and that's true. Paul, you don't need to worry about what they say. Yeah. But sometimes, if you open up your ears yeah. and listen at what yeah. they're saying, yeah. it'll give you some insight into how great mm -hmm. you are in God. Mm -hmm. All right. Because enemies don't waste time fighting something that is not a threat. Yeah. Witches and warlocks don't come and try to shut down stuff, praise the Lord, that they already got on lockdown. Yeah. Oh, God, I feel something up in here tonight. And then I want you to understand that the enemy starts to fight people and things that have a distinct destiny and that have a distinct calling on their life. And when God lays his hands on you, you have to stand out from amongst yes. the rest of them and you can't go along with everybody. You can't be in their little clubs and their little kids, you know, and their little secret societies with their handshakes and their country clubs trying to go along to get along. Sometimes you got to stand out on your own and wait on God. And in waiting on God, folk will leave you by yourself. And waiting on God, folk will treat you like an outsider and an outcast. Glory to God. But you must know, glory to God, that God is on your side. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, and I'm not even up here to stand and preach yes, a long time, yes. but I'm preaching to somebody in this house, and I'm declaring to you tonight that your warfare has been a humble shot for that. I want you to know tonight that you can get out Hallelujah, I can't hear myself, glory to God. Your warfare has been accomplished. Amen. Shake somebody by the hand and say, your warfare, your warfare has been accomplished. Oh, you ain't ready. Check, check somebody else and say, your warfare, your warfare has been accomplished. What do you mean, Pastor? The thing that you have been fighting against, it's already won. Yes. The thing that's been struggling, that you've been crying about, it's already yeah. one. It's on, praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. I want you to understand that the struggle that you have been up against is already won. Yes. Your yes. warfare yes. has I'm been ready. accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that has been fighting you, that's been keeping you up at night, where you can't get no rest, and you can't get no peace, and you can't get no sleep, God says it's already accomplished. Yeah. This. Funny part about it is, if I tell some people this, they'll fall out mm. and have a convulsion. Yes. <laughs> and you got to call them from up under the table. <laughs> Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying? Yes. You got me? Sounds good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody that's sitting in here. Yes. that have been under direct attack by the enemy. Can I describe what the attack feels like? Yes. The attack that you have been experiencing, you feel it down in the bottom pit yes. of your belly. Yes. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. You get ready to eat something and it turns your appetite off. Yes. You hear what I'm saying? You're wondering which direction do I need to take next? Yes. It comes in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep and it talks. A man in your sleep and trying to make you worry. Yes, you with your sanctified Holy Ghost filled self. Yes, you that speak in tongues and carry at the altar and dance and shout. Hallelujah. You are under extreme warfare. The enemy is attacking your self-worth. I wish I had a witness in here. He's attacking the value that you have and making you wonder, am I enough for this journey? Am I enough to move on to the next level? Hallelujah. Why am I being fought this crazy? And I'm trying to tell you, the battle is not even really about you, but it's about what you are pregnant with and what you are, amen, about to deliver. In fact, I'm preaching to somebody tonight and a voice that only I can use, glory to God, to let you know that your water is breaking. I, I, I said your water is breaking. That, hallelujah. You've been going through, hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, what, what do you call them? Contractions. And, and contractions are pain. They're contractions are travail. Contractions are pain, glory to God. They make you feel like, glory to God, you're about to die. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. You're you're about to die. The enemy make you feel like you're about to die. Hallelujah. Can I take this off? I, I'm, I'm good. Let me, let me just pray. Yeah. 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 
Preach. Hallelujah. Let me help you understand. Come on, come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, I want you to understand that you are in travail. Yes. Right. When you are in travail, how many women have you ever had babies? Let me see. Glory to God. All right. When you are in travail, when you are in labor, that is not your finest looking mother. <laughs> when you are in travail, you don't look good. Your hair don't look good. Unless you got somebody that loves you good enough to come black your hair, your hair is standing on top of your head. Your neck is black. Your nose is wide and spread. When you're carrying something great, you don't look pretty. <laughs> but I want to help you understand something. God didn't call you because you wanted to look like the specimen of beauty. God called you because you were fertile to carry something that he's anointed you to carry. I'm the honorable child. And the devil knows that you've been called for such a time as this. And so he want to mess with you. He want to mess with your mind. He want to mess with your joy. He want to mess with your peace of mind. He want to mess with you and make you feel as though you're going to die in this situation before you give birth to what he has called you. Hallelujah. But I'm so glad that God called me from Nightdale on tonight. Amen. To come down here to 416 at Wendell Boulevard down at the your faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Healing and deliverance church to let you know that your warfare has been accomplished. Who am I preaching to tonight? Your warfare has been accomplished and your fight is over. I wish you would just find about three people and slap them and say glory to God the fight is over. Yeah, what you talking about, preacher? <laughs> what you talking about, the fight is over. <laughs> don't you know as long as you live, you're going to fight? <laughs> yeah, you're going to fight. <laughs> but I'm talking about this fight is over. <laughs> this warfare is over. <laughs> this is the last time <laughs> you're going to have to fight about this situation. <laughs> this is the last time <laughs> you're going to have to cry. <laughs> my warfare, my warfare is accomplished. I went through what he told me to go through. I cried when he told me to cry. I was misunderstood when, when, when he told me that I would be misunderstood. But I stood the test of time and I refused to give in. I refused to give up. And so God is speaking to me and he's telling me, glory to God, to tell my people that the fight that you have been fighting over this particular situation is over. It has come to an end. Who am I preaching to tonight? Hallelujah. The, the legal battle is over. You have won. I wish I had a witness up in here. Hallelujah. The personal matter in your home, it is over. Who am I preaching to here? Your health matter is over over. The fight that you've been struggling with in this situation is over. Hallelujah. And I need you just to wipe your weeping eyes and get up and square your shoulder and declare like David said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Why? Because I'm coming out of this situation. I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, Pastor, but they're coming out of the situation. I don't understand the struggle Amen. that's been at your faith, but I understand tonight, hallelujah, that he told me to tell this house that your warfare is accomplished. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't hear me tonight. Your warfare is accomplished and your fight is over. Where there was a no God is about to give a yes where there was a hold up and a hang up God is about to give you the green light I wish I had somebody in here that don't mind giving God the praise I thank him for what he's done I thank him for how he brought me out he brought me out alright he brought me out of darkness and into the marvelous light but I come to tell somebody don't stay in what he did too long because I heard the Bible say that, that God is about to do a new yeah. I tell you to touch two people and say a new thing. 
Oh, y'all don't mean that. I said, tell them new things. If this side over here really knew what God was about to do, you'd be on fire. God says, I'm about to do a new Say yeah. yeah. 
Because somebody said, I may not look like it, but I'm on my way out. What did you say, Chanel? I'm on my way out. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither haven't entered into the heart of man the thing that God got prepared. I wish I had somebody, and I'm not just talking about going to heaven either. There are some folk, they believe that they're just going to get all of their glory and all of what they're supposed to get when they get to heaven. And the greatest thing will be to hear him say, well done. But the Bible says this, Pastor, I don't know why I keep saying bishop, hallelujah. But, but he says, he says, no man having left houses, land, huh? mother, father, wife, children, for my sake and the kingdom of God's sake, shall not in this life receive it a hundredfold with persecution. In other words, I'm going to get it, but I might have to go through some hell to get it. Now, some of you, 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 you got some stuff that God got. You had to go to hell to get it, but you're going to get what God. Right. Yeah. 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 In this time, in this world, uh -huh. and in the world to come life everlasting. Yes, sir. I'm coming to tell somebody yes. your warfare is accomplished. Yes. I don't care what you've been fighting. Yes, yes. You've been fighting some stuff. Yes, yes. <laughs> you've been fighting. I know. Hallelujah. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. he, he gave me this word. It was strange because I knew y'all going to be talking about black history. Uh -huh. and, and, and I wanted to find something that would coincide with black history. But the Lord said, don't worry about that. He said, drop off what I... Somebody in here has been in the fight of their life. Yes, Somebody here has been in the struggle. You don't... You hey! In fact, some of you don't even feel like you were going to be here the next six months, but the devil is alive. In fact, I declare you shall live and not die. Yes, yes. Ah. Thank you, Lord. you shall live and not die. Yes. And if, I don't care what the doctor said you have. Well, what they said you had. Yes, yes. <laughs> You, you, you had it. Because it's gone now. Can I tell you something? As a believer, nobody has a right to tell you when to die. The wages of sin is death. Because of salvation in the blood of Jesus Christ, the record of sin has been erased. So when death comes looking for you, he has to be careful how he show up. God of mine. Because you know, that, that, that's, that's why Jesus could hold off death from the sixth to the ninth hour. Because there was no sin on his life. In order to even die, they had to beat him and make him look guilty. They had to fool death. Otherwise, death couldn't get him. And hell wouldn't even take him. Good God of mine. And they fooled him. Because he had to die. He had to go to hell. He had to do it, sure. He had to do it so he could come back with the victory for you and I. But the only way, he couldn't go in there looking like the Son of God. Couldn't go in there looking like God Almighty. He had to go in there looking like a rank sinner. So when they beat him, they beat him unrecognizable. Any man that got beat like this, surely he had to be a sinner. Bible says he gave up the ghost. Father, into my hand, into thy hands, I commend my spirit. He breathed his last. Y'all ain't hear me? They took that body and laid it in the bar so I know it's not easy yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Told Joseph, I just need the bar to tell you. 
I don't need to have it. Have it means I'm going to keep it permanently. But borrowed means I, I plan to give it back to you. Hallelujah. Because I got enough power to lay this body down. And then if I lay it down, I can raise it back up again. Is that what the Bible said? And so for about three days, he was in Joseph borrowed too. Look at somebody say early. early. Say early. early. Early one Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. The grave couldn't hold him down because there was no sin in his life. And what I'm trying to tell you, because you've been born again, you've been born of the water and of the spirit, you have an advocate with the Father. Y'all ain't hearing me? There is no record of your sin. When the Bible said, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, he was talking about salvation. He's not talking about your practice. He's talking about your relationship. And because he's washed your white in snow. Amen. Death ain't got nothing on you. Believe, believers got to give up the ghost. Death can't just come take you any time away. I'm just going. No, 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 no. You got to be careful. Because, see, see, the spiritual world work by legalities. Rules and regulation. There has to be sin in order for death to take you. And if there is no sin, then there must be consent. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, as long as Jesus kept talking, he couldn't die. As long as he kept saying stuff. Jeff had to stand at the foot of the cross with his arm folded like, like Deacon Travis waiting. Yes. And then finally he said, well, into thy hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. And he breathed his last. He gave it up. He gave it up because Satan and death couldn't take it from him. Well, Pastor, you I'm talking a good talk about Jesus, but we knew that he, he was God in the flesh. Yeah, that's true. Okay. But old Deacon Stephen, they stoned Stephen, calling upon God. They stoned him, but he couldn't die. So he looked up into the sky and saw the Lord Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father. And he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They just not to their charge. Then he said, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And he gave up the ghost. What I'm trying to tell you believers that got the spirit of God. You've been born again. They don't have a legal right to get. So, so, so stop worrying every time the doctor said you're going to die. He's going to die too. Many times he'll die for you do. This is the season for you to live. Live on purpose. I'm finished. I'm not, not going to try to preach a three-night revival in one night. I'm going to try to bring it in. But I want to tell you tonight, your warfare is accomplished. Sister, your warfare is accomplished. I don't know what the struggle has been. He hasn't revealed that to me. But he has shown me that this message is touching you in a special way. And the Lord says, it's okay to take a breath. It's okay to get some peace. It's okay to breathe deeply. Hallelujah. And, and, and go home and live on purpose. Because whatever it was for the last 6 to 18 months that you have been fighting with, it has taken a toll on your peace. You go home and sleep better than you've ever slept before. There are some things that only God can fix, and you just got to let God fix it. You know what I found out, Brother Pastor? God ain't got to ask our permission to bless folk. When God get ready to bless you, he'll bless you outside of the gate. When he get ready to move things, he'll move it outside of denomination. He'll move it out. That sometimes folk don't even understand. 
But your warfare yes. is accomplished. Yes. Everyone's standing up. I'm, I'm finished. I hope this message was okay for y'all. And I appreciate you for taking a chance on me. And when you don't know nobody and you call them to come, you don't know what you're going to get. Thank you, sir. But I found out that God knows how to connect. Lord, I pray. <laughs> Can you just join hands all across the aisle and just leave nobody untouched? Chanel, I don't know why your name keep coming to me. But in not many days hence, you're good, all right? And not many days since, you're about to see what you've been praying about. And the thing that has been held up for you, God is about to break it loose. If I be a man of God, the wall is shine. The wall is coming down. Squeeze that navel by the hand. It's a sign that you're still alive. Hallelujah. Pastor, you will not shut your eyes until you see what he showed you and what he promised you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't believe that God is going to allow you to do all of this work and another eat and labor without you at least tasting of it. I believe you've been faithful. I believe you've been faithful. I believe you've been done dirty. You've been done wrong by the people that you trusted would hold you in confidence. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But because there is a gifting in your hand to make things happen, and, and, and in fact, glory, what I see is things can lay stagnant, but the moment you begin to put your hands to it, stuff just start moving. Stuff that folk been trying to get to move for years, it, when you touch it, it begins to move. You have the hands that were moving. And people are jealous because they have had their hands on a thing that will not move. And sometimes they send words out to fight your name, praise the Lord, to keep people from feeling like I will be safe in the ministry. But I'm telling you, you're about to see what God said. And you're not going to close your eyes before you see what he has promised you, praise the Lord. So says the Lord, glory to God. So even if the doctor say something, glory to God, say, well, it's going to have to take a back seat to what God said. It ain't going to happen until what God has promised is going to take. Oh, y'all ain't ready. 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 Ricky, it's about to happen for you, sir. It's about to happen for you. I know you don't understand why the struggle, but the struggle and the fight has been about breaking through the resistance that the enemy, praise the Lord, have sent to shut you down. But you're not going to shut down in this season. You're going, glory to God, to shine as the sun. Y'all ain't ready. Your water is breaking, Jada. The prophetic water over your yeah. life is breaking. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The unsureness and the uncertainty, the uncertainty that you've been feeling about who you think you are in the spirit. You are somebody great in the spirit. And God is going to use you like never before. The prophetic mantle is about to hit your life. Praise the Lord. The glory of God is about to shift you out of one place to the next place. And you're about to understand why you had to keep your mouth shut and situations that you did not even understand. It's because God was trying to keep you clean so that he can use you in this next season. Watch what's about to happen. Squeeze that neighbor's hand. As you squeeze their hand, I declare you're squeezing life. <laughs> Refreshing. Encouragement. 
Rod refreshing is coming your way right now. Receive the refreshing of the all glory. Receive, receive, receive the refresh. All glory. Yeah, receive, receive. In the name of Jesus. 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 You're going to see what he has said. And you're not going to have to fight in this situation. Father, do it for them. Encourage them. Lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. In the name of Jesus. Sister in the Kente hat that did the praise the Lord history thing. There's somebody that you've been praying for uh, that you've been looking for God to bring them out. Praise the Lord. In fact, this is a family member that you have been calling on God. It seems like they have lost themselves and, 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 and you know that they know better than where they're at. And the devil has even said, I'm going to kill them before they can get back to God. But the devil is a liar. God have made you a promise. Hallelujah. You ain't even got to fight about it no more. Hallelujah. You ain't going to have to fight about it no more. God going to do it. Look to see him coming to your door. Not many days hence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all hearing God tonight? God is about to do this thing. God is about, wait church, God is about to do this thing. I know you hit a roadblock, but I'm telling you, you're getting ready to go further than you ever went before. Holly, what God is doing here is exposing the hidden agendas of the enemy. He's exposing them. He's going to lay it there. There won't be one stone turned upon another trying to hide. God going to expose it. Because we got somewhere to go. We don't have long to get there. Father, bless them. Father, encourage them. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your favor and your grace. I thank you for this mighty man of God. What you're doing in his life. Thank you for his wife. Thank you for the joy that she exudes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For having mothers in Zion. Yes. That know how to travail in the spirit. Yes. Know how to call the thing that be not as though they were. We pray a refreshing over her life. Yes. Refreshing in her body. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And we say thank you. Thank you. We give you the glory. Yes. We give you the honor. Yes. We give you the praise. Yes. In Jesus name. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you believe God, come on, give him the praise. Come on, give him the praise. Come on, give him the praise. Hallelujah. Praise him.